Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well this week. Here is your update on the BTC USDT market. Let's take a look starting off with the monthly chart and see how that looks in comparison. Sorry, yeah, um, all right. So let's see how that looks in comparison to how we were at the time of this current sort of resistance zone. Um, guys, we have now officially broken through this $9,200, $9,300 area um, in, ter in terms of the weekly. So I'm going to move this up slightly now. Um, and we are currently sitting with some resistance that comes in from the top of this week, which was basically the last high in comparison to where we are now. So here we're seeing a little bit of resistance at about $9,800, which was where the next resistance was. I mentioned that um, on one of the comments um, on one of the posts that I had done in the group. And um, it looks like it may it may come right up to around 9,900. So just under $10,000 may be the next target. If we break this area of 9,899, we will very likely then see 10,200. This resistance comes in from this candle formation right here. So I will plant this resistance zone right over there for you. I can actually make it a bit thinner. Um, it's a little too thick. Let's have a look. Um, there it is. Okay, so here we've got the next resistance that comes in at about $10,200. However, if we look at Fibonacci, and I'm just going to delete this, and I'll redraw it so you can see what I mean. So if we, if we looked at Fibonacci and we drew the retracement from the last high, the ultimate high, to our last low at roughly $3,000, um, we can see, guys, that we've just broken through this 38.2. Okay, this is a big thing, all right? If, if if this month breaks through the previous ten thousand dollar high, all right, um, um, and 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 potentially breaks through this ten thousand three hundred, the next Fibonacci zone is sitting at eleven thousand five hundred. So now that we've successfully broken through thirty eight point two, we will need to close above thirty eight point two. In other words, by the end of the month, we've obviously still got uh, you know a few days to go before that happens. Uh, nine, nine, ten days, I believe. Um, for, us, for us to see where we close in this candle, we may, we may even just retract and close beyond this 38.2 and do something like this and pretty much have the wick that just pierced through the 38.2 and then we may just find ourselves coming back down. So it really depends how we close um, on the month to really uh, decide whether we are going to see um, this 11,500. It depends on the close of the end of this month. All right, but um, the only data that you need to take out of this out of this chart is the fact that we've broken through the 38.2 and we may potentially be targeting $11,500 with some resistance at about $10,300. Um, and obviously we've got, we've got this small little wick over here at about 10K. So I'm gonna call it the $10,000 zone and this $10,000 zone includes the, um, this, this resistance at about 10.3. So we, we will very likely see some resistance between 10K and 10.3 um, and then and then potentially a pullback um, and just kind of see this wick and a pullback right down to our, our, our target of around $8,000, which, which, which is still a pullback uh, destination. Um, but as I said, if we break through here, 11.5 is the target. This is what we're going to be taking out from the monthly chart. Let's take a look at the daily as well. Um, my Wi-Fi is a little slow, so please just bear with me. Um, all right, so we have... We were, we were basically trading between this, um, this uptrend uh, channel over here, and we have finally broken through it, okay? We can see we are finding some resistance at, at this 50 MA, um, and for me, breaking through this channel signifies a nice move to the upside. We are Friday, we usually see a nice pump on Saturdays, so I'm expecting to see the market even test $10,300. I had mentioned that, that that $9,800 was roughly my target. I just missed that by a few dollars, as you can see over there. Um, and for me, the fact that we haven't seen a massive sell-off hitting this $9,800 area just simply means that it, 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 now, it now gives uh, the RSI and most of the tools some time to breathe and pretty much neutralize in order for people to accumulate and pump the price back up so we can actually test this $10,300 mark. Remember, if we break this $10,300, $11,500 is the next target, okay? Um, as it is, based off Fibonacci, but I, I mean, we, we, 
we try we try and analyze the market using more than one tool and not just Fibonacci. So for me, I'm looking at resistance lines, I'm looking at Fibonacci, I'm looking at RSI, so on and so forth. So it's more of a collective thing, um, or or a collective outlook rather. And so um, while while Fibonacci says that we have broken through 38.2, the next target is indeed nine. Uh, sorry, not nine. Um, the, is eleven thousand five hundred dollars, which is the fifty percent um, Fibonacci uh, retracement area. Now um, that's 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 what we've got to be looking out for over here. So you may see a bit of a pump, but if you see the breakout at ten thousand three hundred dollars and you aren't in the market, I would say get in, or otherwise you can even top up a little bit over here. Right now, my strategy in the market is not to sell at any of the Fibonacci points or any of the sell destinations but rather hold on to the coins that we have so we preserve the Bitcoin value that we have and only on the pullbacks will we then use the dollars in our account um, or the USDT that you have on the sideline to, to pretty much just buy the dips. Now is not the time that you want to be out of the market, all right? So stick it out, wait, wait, wait for the top to come in and on the pullback, that's when you start buying. And I mean, for me right now, you know, the market is extremely, extremely volatile. So trying to catch the bottom exactly is pretty much gambling right now. And so for me, I, I mean, I like, to, I like to pick up the market when I start to see three, four, five, six percent drops. Um, and, and I will start picking up, you know, at three percent, at four percent, at five percent, so on and so forth. So I will start to ladder buy back in wherever the bottom um, is. I mean, for instance, when I, when, when, I, when I had mentioned that on this chart, I was expecting a pullback. Um, and we had this top that had come in, and I, I had said that our first support zone was at 7.8, and 7.4 was a weak support zone. And indeed, it is a weak a support zone, as you can see right here. Um, but it seemed to have actually bounced off this level. Now, had you, had you sold out completely, you, know, you would have lost out on this run. So my, 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 my humble advice to you guys is, don't sell out of the market right now. The market is shifting. There's a lot of volatility. Don't try and catch the bottom. Rather, just buy the dips and hold on to whatever BTC that you have so that you don't lose out. Okay? Let's take a look at the four hours as well to see if there are any, um, if there are any um, tools, anything that we, can, that we can try and identify. So we had this golden crossing over here, uh, which, which gave us the small sort of breakout at this point right here. Uh, RSI is somewhat overbought, not massively overbought. So we, I mean, we've still got some room to move up um, on this four hour. I'm, I mean, for me, it looks like this market is going to be moving to the upside, testing this $10,300 level um, probably um, over the weekend. Um, and that is pretty much it for this week's TA. Um, if, there, if there are any other questions that you guys may have um, regarding this BTC chart, please let me know. I also just want to take a quick look at the fear and greed index. Um, give me a sec. Um, yeah, it's this one here. Okay, so we are also in extreme greed. All right, now this this is worrying because whenever we see this, um, you know, market market psychology basically tells us that um, in 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 extreme greed we look to sell, in extreme uh, fear we look to buy, and now it's now that it's sitting on, on the far right-hand side, which is obviously extreme greed, we are, looking, we are looking to sell, but I wouldn't say sell, as I just mentioned in this market, because this coin has just been running. BTC has just been running, irrespective of what TA is telling us, irrespective of how overbought the RSIs are. This thing has not pulled back the amount that we needed to pull back by. Um, I mean, if we, if we pulled up the weekly chart and we deleted this Fibonacci and Actually, I'm going to delete these as well because this is no longer relevant. One sec. There we go. And we do a potential pullback from this low. Let's say now that we aim for this level, let's say we get to $10,300. Okay. Um, my buyback zone was over here. So now it's shifting. Okay. My buyback zone now shifts <clears throat> to the 61.8 because obviously the higher uh, the value, um, the higher the buyback zone, right? So 61.8 um, in the bigger scheme of things on the monthly, or sorry, on the weekly, it tells us it's sitting at, at $5,800, which, um, which, is, which is probably about 30 to 40% from this top. So let's just have a look. 
So then we've got about 40%. And if we had to be conservative, 30%, we're looking at about 6.6. 6. So, I mean, the bottom is still telling us um, that based, based off the historical pullbacks um, in, our, in our last bull market, that this 30 to 40% pullback is, is generally what we look for. And that would take us to around the $6,000 area. Now, I mean, how realistic is that? I have no idea because the volatility in the market is just so high right now. I mean, we saw we had such a beautiful pullback candle over here and it would have, I mean, it would have been amazing to see, you know, another rate come back down, you know, and kind of pull us back into this area down here to allow us to continue this in a more organic manner rather than a parabolic run to the upside. Again, parabolic runs always end in, um, you know, in, in, in very, very ugly pullbacks. Um, and BTC will pull the rest of the market down with it. So, I mean, this being said, look at how many green candles we've had over the last weeks. Um, if we looked at the monthly, we've had one, two, three, four, five green months in a row. Not even in 2017 did we even have that. We had three green months, obviously massive candles, but followed by a massive uh, um, a pullback. So, I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised if we hit this $10,300, you know, and then we look to have a massive pullback to this uh, $6,200 area. It may not happen, so ladder buy back in. Do not sell, rather ladder buy back in. Um, if if, excuse me, if we have this pullback uh, from, from, from this $10,300 level, based off the monthly chart, we can see that the next support comes in at about $7,800. And that's what I would realistically target. Um, bonus, if we come back down, um, you know, and respect the 30 to 40% pullback, that'll be a bonus for all of us and we'll be able to accumulate a hell of a lot more Bitcoin. Uh, but right now, you look at, look at $7,800, $8,000 as your area to buy back in. Uh, but other than that, our target is still $10,300. And on the breakthrough of this, we are looking for $11,500. Guys, that is it for this week's TA. Um, if you guys have any questions, please pop it off in the comment section. Otherwise, I will get back to you guys next week and wishing you guys all a fantastic weekend ahead. Cheers for now.